Hi guys, Paul here, and what you're looking at is two CGX 250s. Now, I did a video, I think it was uh, the 1st of January this year, uh, 2015, where I flew my second CGX running the Naze 32 board from Hobby King and just seeing exactly how it flew. And I did touch on the fact that I did actually have an issue, and it wasn't related to the board itself, but uh, issue with firmware and what I wanted to do in this video was actually cover exactly what occurred It's just a trap that you can easily fall into it can create all sorts of dramas. You can get someone else's uh, Settings and then pop them onto your multi rider and all of a sudden find it flies absolutely terrible So it's just something to look out for and what I want to do is run through exactly what occurred uh, So you can be aware of this So essentially what you're looking at here is two CGX 250s and they're virtually identical. There is no difference other than just the look of some of the parts, etc. But they're identical pretty much. So what you've got is the same Sunny Sky motors on both of the multi rotors. So they're running exactly the same motors, same props, same ESCs, and uh, they're running the same FPV camera. They're both running Mobiuses. One of them is running. Uh, this one's running the wide angle uh, Mobius, and the other one's running the standard lens. And that's just for a test that I'm going to do later on, but they're virtually, that's not going to affect flight characteristics whatsoever. And they're running the same video transmitter, etc. Now, the first one had the Naze 32 board. This is the Japanese one. And I was really happy with that and pretty much got the settings close to what I would like. So I was pretty happy with its flight characteristics. It seemed to be flying quite, quite well. Had a little bit of jitters, which I've still got to iron out. But other than that, it was actually flying quite well and it felt really locked in. So the second multi rider actually had the Nano Wii and what I did was swap that out with the Naze 32 and essentially what this meant was both of the multi riders were going to be identical. In other words, they'd fly exactly the same, etc. So if I had to service one or something broke on one, I'd have a second multi rider that was identical, flew exactly the same. There'd be no real having to get used to the way the multi rider flies. So having two identical multi riders sounded like a fantastic idea. So I popped this board in there and basically jumped into base flight and um, first thing base flight did was tell me to update the actual firmware which I did and then what I did was I plugged in the old board and saved the settings from the old board and then plugged this guy back in again and then just copy those settings straight over so I didn't have to make all those setting changes manually other than CLI command for the loop time so everything was done via just uh, loading the original um, file from the previous flight controller. So it meant all these settings were basically covered, including uh, your PID settings were done for me, uh, all my throttle curves, etc. And it all pretty much, much went off without a hitch. Um, and it seemed to work all right. Checked all the um, arming and disarming, all worked fine. Took the multi rotor outside. It was quite a windy day and I was trying to fly it and it just I wasn't comfortable flying at all. It was actually twitchy and it was just all over the place. It wasn't that it wasn't flyable, but it felt completely different to my other quad. So I swapped the battery over, popped it on the old quad, tried it out, and sure enough, it was flying completely different. Came back and then what I did was, I went through every single one of these settings and took screenshots to see what was going on. And sure enough, there was no difference at all with the settings. They were identical and it should have been flying exactly the same way. And it took me a little while to figure out what had actually happened. But if you look closely, what you can see is if you look at the firmware on this one, it's saying I'm running the 22nd of October 2014 firmware. And that's the one I had on my original quad. When I updated the firmware on the new board that I just installed from Hobby King, it actually updated to December 6th firmware. So hence, that was the reason why it was actually flying differently. So that sort of raises two issues. One being that uh, you're going to have to watch, it's something you're going to have to watch out watch out with with firmware updates. And I know people have actually talked about it, uh, as in there's been a firmware update and all of a sudden they've gone to make a change uh, on their multi rotor and it's told them they have to update the firmware. So they have. And then before you know it, it's actually flying completely differently. So that's something to watch out for. And secondly, the other issue I had is there are a number of people that have actually built a CGX exactly like mine, and they actually plugged in the same settings that I had. And they were really surprised that I actually was comfortable flying it that way. Um, and I think some of them thought I might have been having them on, and you know what I mean? They weren't my real settings, 
when they looked at my last video video on the Nase 32 and, and they were my actual settings that I was flying with. So hence, it's just something you're gonna have to watch out for. Firmware updates could be an issue if you go in there to make uh, setting changes, etc. Um, it's just something I want to give you the heads up on and there are workarounds. I mean, the way I worked around this one was I actually installed the 22nd of October firmware onto this board and then just um, copied over the same settings that I had on my previous uh, multi rotor and that worked fine. So I just rolled it back from the December 6th firmware to the October 22nd. Now, depending on the t sort of upgrade they do, that may not be possible. So anyway, look, I just want to share this information with you and just um, make you aware of it. Anyway, look, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys later.